in the back of cartoons, you know, the, the, the little cartoon books, you know, Archie comics or whatever, comics, comics. They always had these uh, little ads. And so I saw the ads for Charles Atlas and Joe Weeder and all that stuff. And I would, I would send away for the free sample of this, you know, the guaranteed placebo that. Um, but later, I started clipping a lot of those ads. And it's fascinating how similar marketing is now. You've got click funnels and landing pages. Uh, but headlines and, and grabbing attention is the same. And uh, even in my very first real entrepreneurial activity, I went back to a lot of the, the headlines that I remembered as kids and, and tried to be empathetic and get into the mind of the buyer that way. But, but really that, thought process started way back there. I mean, what gets an eight-year-old to do chores and, and start a business so they can raise enough money so they can buy the thing that they've been thinking about in the back of a comic book? Mm -hmm. um, that was probably some of my first entrepreneurial endeavors. Although I sold fireflies and frogs, we had a, a creek behind our house and I used to catch frogs and sell them to the other kids. Um, in, in sixth grade, I started my first, I would call it real business. We created a little factory in our basement and I, I would make hand done sand painting terrariums. And then I sold them to local florists with handmade signs that said made by a local sixth grade student. Um, yeah. In high school, I was the starting varsity quarterback, uh, starting as a sophomore. And I had a door-to-door, uh, a -door, I would sell stereos, and I would knock on somebody's door and say, uh, uh, hi, I'm Howard Getson. Oh, I know who you are. Uh -huh. But then I would sell him a stereo. <laughs> That's great. And Howard, tell me that this kind of you know, entrepreneurial... Uh, way, which obviously came in very early, you know, and as as a child, was that something that was uh, you were around? Did, were your parents entrepreneurs, or, oh, or where my, would you attribute that kind of energy coming from? My my parents swear I came out of the womb that way. Uh, one of my favorite first toys was a cash register. Uh, my my other grandfather owned a pharmacy. And I used to sit at the cash register and I would take the money and learn how to make change and stuff. And I thought that was really cool. Uh, and he would pay me at, at the end of the day by giving me a pack of juicy fruit gum. <laughs> 